poisson qui nage sur le dos qui dort tout soleil. L'after yoga has complete physical, mental, social and spiritual benefits. Uh, I, I believe there is a lot of stress uh, in Africa. A common man or people who are not, not in job, they, they have an uh, equal amount of stress. And laughter yoga is very simple actually, it's a group practice. We initiate laughter as an exercise in the beginning and it's so simple it catches on. Uh, it's not a rocket science, it's a simple, <laughs> just laugh. And we combine laughter with yoga breathing and uh, which brings more oxygen to your body cells and uh, which uh, makes you feel good, makes you feel much more uh, enthusiastic and uh, more healthy. So this childlike playfulness of the children is very important in our laughter session. The other thing I just want to stress is that the eye contact. Once we start with the session, I want you to move one eye when I indicate to you to start moving and then look each other in the eye. We all know that the eyes are the windows of the soul. And by just looking into somebody's eyes and put a smile on your face, what's going to happen? There's going to be energy transfer taking place. And this is very important in our session. <laughs> actually create the human being. It also creates uh, Ubuntu amongst the people, amongst the variety. I think laughter yoga is, it's kind of, it's a, it's a wellness key that uh, will bridge from, from the kind of exclusive domain and realm of, of wellness as it is today, where it's locked into spas and 
kind of health centre. It's quite exclusive. And what happens out in communities, in schools, uh, in townships, it's something that's universal, doesn't cost anything. Makes you feel great. There are millions of health benefits for laughing together. As we were the people who are always being critical, like uh, getting sick of uh, stress and all those things, anger. So this yoga is helping us on anger management. laughter. You're going to turn to the person next to you, you're going to shake a hand and go <laughs> Everybody in this crowd Let it out Fake it, fake it until you make it We wanted to do an outreach project for Laughter for Africa in South Africa and uh, we decided that we want to target a community or a group of, of people that really need it the most. And so we landed up here with Hayes Rosendahl or the Rosendahl home for the kids um, where we approached them then to find out if they will be interested in allowing us to do laughter yoga as an intervention. And then we started with sessions once a week um, for, an hour, for, for an hour long with the kids, uh, 20 boys, 20 girls. And we've been monitoring then and we also got a control group of kids that do not partake in the program. And every time when we start the program, we, they fill in a questionnaire um, that they rate how the week has been, how they're feeling. Um, it's just a psychological questionnaire, which at the end of the day, we're hoping to um, have analyzed the research results through the university. In the beginning there were obviously a lot of resistance, the kids didn't know what it was all about. So we had to explain to them very carefully what, um, what laughter yoga is all about. We explained to them that they need to partake. The, the openness of the kids was amazing. The way that they started warming up towards us and coming towards us and wanting to chat to us and um, share their problems with us. Um, we we just here for the laughter yoga, and that is the program that we that we implementing at this point in time. Laughter Africa is good and it's fun. I hope they got all the best of them. Good luck to those who love us. We have nothing to do here anymore. No programs. That's all program we have now. Laughter yoga, and the best thing is to come every day. To try, just try to come every day. And everyone feel every day I'm very happy because through, through weekends, through the week, then everyone is like cross for each other. But when after yoga is coming, then the, the Wednesday, everyone is friends. But how? <laughs> I can't understand it because just when after yoga comes, they change something. But when it goes, then it's again uh, like. Almost like a part of <laughs> They hate each other when laughter yoga comes, then they smile with each other, then they're all friends, laugh with each other. <laughs> but that's all I can say. As part of my work as a reflexologist, you work with cancer patients, you work with people uh, who are very depressed, people who are ill. I just bring some laughter into their lives that is so soothing and healing, even to me. And so I'm very calm, even to my therapist too. We won't leave, lose contact, eh? Because so I have his number. There we got it, okay, good. We must still stay in contact with you. And uh, give you my cell phone number and if ever you need me or whatever, you must just phone me. Because we try to invest in them that you are still the best. Whatever happened to you, we can still make the best out of it, okay? In Sweden, 
at the oncology department, which is the cancer department, the head of the cancer department has brought in laughter leaders to come and do laughter sessions with patients undergoing chemotherapy, simply because the medical world recognizes that there are all these wonderful physiological benefits, biochemical changes that happen. <laughs> So it reduces stress, makes you feel better, boosts the immune system. And you know what? The other wonderful thing is, you don't have to know me to laugh with me. And you don't have to be able to speak my language to laugh with me. Isn't that great? So it's a wonderful connector of people. We can take laughter for Africa all over the place, in all communities, black and white, rich and poor, with the idea that we'll get people connected. Because when you are laughing, you're not thinking nasty thoughts, isn't it? You can't be fighting if you are laughing. So, so that's the whole idea. Now, cortisol is a stress hormone that, uh, that, that accurately reflects perceived stress levels, as you know. And there's a 28 reduction in cortisol levels, which is absolutely significant, I'm told by the doctors. Right? 28%. The Panas the emotion test. The positive emotions which we want to increase was went up 17% and the negative emotion came down by 27%. And then alexemia, give me if it's not pronounced correctly, um, a serious condition, <laughs> which people have difficulty identifying and expressing emotions. I'm sure if you're a teenager you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's quite a serious thing I believe, um, socially inhibited, cold and distant behavior, show lack of initiative. Um, just, just have a look at that and see maybe if there are some people that you know, employees in your company, that maybe have got some of these symptoms. Now, interesting, 8% decrease in the leukemia and the laughter yoga group with no change in the control group. Right? So the question that was asked, what are the effects of laughter yoga on stress in the workplace? There's a summary. Heart rate down indicates reduced stress. The blood pressure down. Lower stress and improved stress management. The cortisol, the down in the whole body indicates reduced stress level. The panas test, we showed the, the, the positive went up, the negative went down. The perceived stress test, down. And uh, the TAS test for, for the axemia, which is reduced as motion intelligence is increased. So, very important. What did the university find at the end of this? <laughs> there can be no doubt that laughter yoga is significant to reduce the stress levels in the workplace. Physiological, biochemical, and psychological tests all indicate reduction in stress and improvement in subjects' ability to cope with it. And this will result in improved physical and mental health. So we observe that laughter yoga participants develop a deep sense of physical, mental, and emotional well-being. We've, we've actually launched our, launched our internal wellness program and as part of that uh, we've actually built laughter, laughter therapy into it. Very good, very good. Yay! And part of our plan now is to in fact train some internal people to be able to run, this, run the actual sessions itself. So that's how we plan to roll it out in turn. Right, I want you to stick your belly out like a lovely pregnant lady here. <laughs> stick your belly out as much as you can. This is called Buddha laughter. So rock your belly and you I've had this before, so it was, you know, it felt like it was the first time because I thought because I've done this before, then, you know, I'm not gonna love the same, but it was absolutely funny. <laughs> I'm Dr. Fires Kirsten, you know, I am a medical doctor, I'm also the founder of the Brain Science Academy. Uh, I must say, I found the experience to be quite unusual but extremely uh, pleasant at the same time. <laughs> uh, I've obviously, never engaged in something. Uh, this silly, but uh, you know, beneficial at the same time. So it was a really good experience, really pleasant, really fun. 
uh, and I want to do it as soon as possible again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they need it in a hospital environment where I work, and especially in an emergency setting where I work also. Uh, people are under a lot of stress there, so that will be a good thing for them, absolutely. <laughs> relaxing more and more, take a nice deep breath in, and relax. <laughs> My boss starts crying from laughter. That is just the most amazing experience to see my boss crying from laughter, from yeah. happiness and from joy. That for me is the ultimate. Go to the floor. the body relaxing. Into the feet. Into the ankles. You just feel yourself relaxing into the legs, right from the bottom part of the legs all the way up to the top. Yeah, the laughter yoga, it, it gives you First, it's frustrating because it's laughing at nothing, but when you get into it, you start feeling that relaxing mode. Um, I can guarantee you that a few people are going to wake up with sore stomachs tomorrow uh, from the laughter itself. Uh, my experience is that uh, your body is, is so tensed up, but after the laughter theory, you feel relaxed and you're realizing that you've been keeping a lot of negative energy inside you and now that you've left it out, let it out through laughter therapy, you feel more relaxed. Excellent. So you're definitely going to be doing this uh, a yeah, lot eh? Now I'll be, I just need to sit down with Martin a lot just to get it to be part of my being. Back, back, okay. Thank you. Back. All right. And feel that the whole body can just consciously sink down to the floor. Not letting onto anything but letting go of everything else. So for a few minutes, you're just going to see how much you can just release. Nothing to hold onto, nothing to cling onto. Into the palms of the hands as you start opening very gently, becoming soft. Relax downwards away from the ears. Into the throat area. You want to feel that you're going to go Relax the tongue gently down to the bottom of the mouth. Feel that you can relax the eyes, the eyelids. Consciously relax the scalp on top of the head. Notice where the body is making contact with the floor. I would like you all just to have a vision in your mind, a thought. But our, uh, regarding our vision that we have, and that is to bring health, happiness, and peace through laughter to all the people in South Africa. The laughter movement will spread from Cape Town all over, all over Africa. Africa needs it. We have so much of stress, crime-related stress. And laughter can bring people together and it can bring down the crime rate also because laughter is love, connects people and it's a positive energy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see?
sable Mais plutôt des pâtés de pétrole Ne vous inquiétez pas, le sol n'est pas si sale Mais ne marchez quand même pas pieds nus, gardez vos grolles Vous pouvez mettre vos serviettes Sur les galettes Pour le dos c'est formidable Un peu dégueu mais confortable Thank you. 